crocodiles of the Nile make me smile for a while. I find that I admire their style. Snip, snap, snap, there goes your head, and you'll never wake up in your lover's bed anymore. Anymore, 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 anymore. Your head will look up from the underworld and see that your headless corpse is curled. Coiled up with your lover in bed and your lover doesn't need your head anymore, 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 anymore. Your lover's in bed with your headless corpse and your lover's filing for divorce. Filing for divorce from your head cause your headless corpse is better in bed than you are, than you are, than you are. And your corpse will shimmy and your corpse will shake Make the earth move like a big earthquake On the Richter scale, nine or ten And your lover will never ever need your head again The moral of the story, though it's rather gory, if your lover likes your legs, you better not ignore the possibility that your lover doesn't care for the thoughts going on underneath your hair. Or underneath your skull, if you're as bald as a coot, you know you need to worry if your lover thinks your feet are cute. If your lover likes your loins far better than your nose, then you better not swim where the Nile flows. If the kisses on your mouth are brief, then you better beware of scales and teeth. If your lover wants your heart, that's bad for a start. Unless your lover likes your brain, you'll be in for some pain. The heart is just a pump, but if your lover likes your rump far better than your face, then your neck will be a stump. The crocodiles of the Nile make me smile for a while I find that I admire their style Snip, snap, snap, there goes your head And you'll never wake up in your lover's bed anymore Anymore, anymore, anymore